Hello and welcome. A look at these cute, adorable kitties, both made with the same stamp. Hi, welcome. I'm Shannon with Creating with Shannon, and I am using here the new IOD Christmas Kitties. So I simply painted the background of a five by seven wood gallery. Then I'm taking my IOD ink pad with black ink and I'm stamping the kitty, the cute little kitty with the hat. Um, I'm stamping it pretty even. I'm not using the backing because the stamp is fitting in such a tight little space that I didn't know if it would infringe upon where I needed to put the kitty. So I'm just doing it free without the backing. Um, when I put it in on my board, I'm making sure I get a good even imprint. I'm trying to push every little nook and cranny on the cat. Now you'll notice on his left cheek, um, I missed a little bit of ink there, but that's okay. I'll make up for that later. Next, I'm just taking a little bit of cracking paste. I'm just gonna outline the outside of the frame. Look at how cute it just frames him in so sweet. Now he needs a little color. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint his hat red. Now the red will make it pop just a bit. And um, I'm just using regular acrylic craft paint for this. And look at how sweet, but you can still see that little blemish on his neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a simple little ribbon, tie a knot in it, and it's going to hide it. Um, so I just tie the knot real quick and I decide where I'm going to place it. And then of course, just a, the little magic dollop <laughs> of hot glue will keep it in place. Now, after I get the bow on, look how cute this is. Isn't this just darling? <laughs> Still needs just a little bit more. So with the cracking paste, it has cracks. So I'm just gonna take some colored wax paste. This is red. Um, I wanted to do just the edges, but you know what? The red ed edges just don't do it enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the whole thing. So there we go. So, and now the red for me is really not bright enough. I wanted it to be a little bit more red, like the red in the hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some gold over it. I think the gold will be the trick. So just using my finger, I'm just swirling. And as I'm putting this on, you could absolutely see the cracks in the texture, which adds to the cat, I think. I think it frames him in so sweetly. So you can see the red and you can see the gold, which I think is just absolutely perfect. Now, this cat can be used for another holiday. Look. With a little bit of orange, it could definitely be used for Halloween or for fall, a fall kitty. So I'm gonna use some orange here. Now when I stamped this kitty, I used um, the ink I put on just a little bit heavier because I wanted him to be you know, more like a black cat for Halloween. So I put it on a little thicker. I'm still painting you know, the uh, top orange. I don't really like the orange. I don't think it pops quite as much as the red. So I think I'll add a little bit of purple because purple and orange are definitely for the Halloween kitty cat. So I'm going to do the puff part of the hat in purple, and then it needs that little gold buckle. So I'm just taking some gold wax or gilding paste <clears throat> and I'm putting it on here. And um, still, it needed a little bit more, so I decided I was gonna go ahead and just frame in the orange part of the hat and give it some shadows. And um, you can tell I'm just, playing and putting a little bit here, a little bit there. Now for me, I like the shimmer. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back in and use a little bit of some shimmer purple wax paste just to give it a little bit more of a shine. So um, dress this kitty up. Now you'll notice on this kitty, I missed a little bit on his um, left leg. So I'm gonna definitely be putting something there. I just have to figure out what it's gonna be. Now. I've got to tie the purple and the orange in. Look at that cracking paste on there. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the purple and I'm going to, so it's gonna accentuate those cracks so it looks like an old frame. So I'm gonna take the purple and I'm gonna put it down. And now the purple's not dark enough for me. Oh, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing and also hit the notification button to be notified when my videos go live. Thanks. Okay, so the purple is pretty, but I don't, think the purple is enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just add some orange over the purple. So now I need to decide about what I'm gonna put on this one because the Christmas kitty I put the bow on, um, I went through my craft stash and I found a little button that was a spider and I thought this would be perfect. So add a little bit of hot glue and then we have the spider. All right, so here's the kitties all done and staged. Aren't they just super sweet? Mm -hmm. 